Hello everyone, it's Miles Harbour 6710. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to day 40 on the Big Gun 32 Model Farm Diorama display. It's turned out to be quite a busy episode today, guys. As last episode wasn't too busy, but no, a lot of action and uh, work has turned up in the area. So that's a, a good sign. So without further ado, let's get into it. So starting off here, PJ's farm. You may see there's a very nice tractor, which you may be thinking, who owns it? Is it PJ's? Well, no, it's not. Um, you may know PJ had a few silage bales, which he made from that field there, just to clear the grass off and encourage a new growth. Um, but yeah, no, he has no use for them. He doesn't have any cows or sheep or anything. Um, well, he did, but he sold them all off. So he's selling the bales there, and this farmer here in this beautiful Ford 8210, you may have seen it in a few episodes ago. And uh, he's had to get a refurbished, uh, already sprayed, and uh, he got a front linkage fitted onto it as well. And he got four brand new tyres as well, which really makes it stand out. And uh, it's a beautiful model now, in fairness. And yeah, he's just picking up these four bales, so he'll have to do two runs to his farm. It's not too far away, probably about 10 minutes in the, in the tractor. So not too bad. And yeah, PJ is really admiring it now. Um, he is working on the house over here with the sun. They're currently working on the roof. Uh, they're just getting the structure kind of done and then they'll get the works man coming uh, tomorrow, Monday. So yeah, that's quite nice. And then the sun there, I know, he has a bit of a head for heights, so PJ doesn't really, but you know he has a head for heights. So yeah, the beam is now in, and then they'll start to get their their cross sections that will be going across, and then they'll get the slates, and then a, a roof over your head. So yeah, that's about it there in PJ's yard. There is a good bit of um, progress on the house, which is good, and then there's a farmer there. It is Ford 6600 in South Africa and I borrow for a load of the book rake from PJ there just to get a bit of timber. So he's had enough. Moving down the road, we have a bit of a convoy coming down now. Uh, Robert and Robert's brother are here in the 7499. And I think it's Ryan driving the 6930 at the moment. But yeah, he's in the 6930 and the newly dump trailer. And Robert's brother is in the 7499 and the, and the Dewey dump trailer as well. And uh, yeah, they're just removing a good bit of rubble off the site. What they're doing is they're demolishing the house and they're rebuilding a few new sheds on it as a new out farm for a farmer they're working for. And you should keep them busy for the winter time, the digger and the dumpers, which is nice to see. And you hate to have the machines parked up during the winter when they could be out on hire like this. And there was a bit of dust rising when loading up the machine, loading up the trailers. And a bit of dust got into the grill at the 6930. Kind of looks cool now to be honest, but yeah, it looks like you can spread the lime or something. So they're heading off to uh, dispose of that. I think they're heading off to a few fields, they're going to dump it in the field. And then during the springtime there, they can make a nice track out of it for the summer when drawing the silage. Um, out. So that's quite a good idea. And then here we have the spraying contractor in contracting here for Robert. He gets him he gets him in to spray off all the crops and uh, give them what they need because Robert does be caught up in other things around the farm so he just lets them deal with that. So he's just spraying away here with his Amazon sprayer and his class Arian 650. Moving on in here into Finbar's farm. Um, here's how about in the mountains there. As you can see, he's gonna go for a walk up the mountains and check on the sheep. But other than that, it's a bit of a quiet day for him now. And then here we have a, a beef farmer with his new hunt T6020. He's uh, going off to the factory with his uh, cows. Hope to get a good bit of exchange for them. Um, the price isn't too bad at the moment per kilo. So, um, yeah, wish him all the best. So you may see there's a new machine in James and Michael's yard. We'll get to that in just a second. 
but we want to appreciate this beautiful TM190 New Holland and the matching uh, Kane dump trailer. He's just bringing out one of the last loads out of the, the building site, which is actually looking quite impressive at the moment um, over at the new farm that's being built. I was just moving a bit of the sand. But over the hedge, we have a, a blue power equivalent, um, a T7210 blue power, which is nearly 20 years in between the difference, roughly. And uh, yeah, it's really nice to see how far they've came along. Let us know guys in the comments below, which one would you take? Which blue power would you take? The TM190 blue power or the T7210 blue power? Leave your comments in the, in the comment section below. And you may be wondering, why did James and Michael buy this digger? Well, they see the, a builder getting out of the building or the groundworks. And they were kind of looking for a bit of winter work to keep them busy, keep the tractors and dumpers busy throughout the winter. So they said they'd make an investment with the Hitachi, they had a bit of money there. So they said they'd make a bit of an investment. They bought this Hitachi Axis 210 after retiring a builder there. And they also got the load owner off him as well. So that'll be handy now. The T7 260 would be, um, I'd say, mostly on the load owner. I mean, all the other tractors could total load owner as well. They both have the horsepower. Um, but yeah, it might mean they might, they might buy another dump trailer. They already have a 14-ton NC hired out. But uh, yeah, who knows what the future might bring with the current jobs. And then they have their friends, Dates 130.06. Uh, he's just parked it in the yard for the moment and he's gone on holidays for the Christmas. And uh, he just wants the tractor being safe in his yard rather than his yard uh, has been broken in beforehand. That's about it in James and Michael's contract in the yard. A lot of the machines are parked up, except the John Deere 7430, which is currently out and about. We'll see it later on. Here in Robert's Dairy Farm, there's a load of action on here today, guys. So you may see 8210 Ford is in the workshop and the cab is off. So there is a bit of a problem with the, with the gearbox at the moment. Uh, previously, a few years ago, Robert done a conversion where he converted this A210 from a 30k to a 40k kilometers an hour box, and that involved taking the cab off. So he's after having a bit of a problem with the gear selector. Uh, I think some of the synchronizers are gone, but he decided to take the cab off there, and hopefully it won't be too big of a job, but it most likely will. What you see here, he has the Harry Potter, he's just taking off the slings from the cab. He's just leaving it inside beside the milking tank there. And uh, he's just after popping out with a Harry Potter. So that'll probably keep him busy there throughout the winter months, a bit of a winter project. Not what he want to hope for for, his, for uh, Christmas time, but however, hopefully he gets sorted. And it's nice to see that he, he's able to turn his hands to anything like that uh, rather than calling the mechanic in. New Holland 8560, there, there is, the law is in effect that you're not allowed to spread slurry, but the, the milking parlor washings are allowed to be spread. So that's what that's what's happening at, at the moment. The relief milker is in here at the moment, just getting a load of slurry out or washings out really just water or diluted slurry so he's gonna spread I think two loads out just so the slats aren't overflowing and the 8560 New Holland is on the job and it had to unhitch from the Keelan feeder so that's just parked there for the time being and then Ian is here at the moment just forking in a bit of silage a round bale of hay just to mix up the feed and the cows are really, really excited. They're all jumping on top of one another just to get a bit of the silage. And another one of the relief milkers that comes in is just giving a bucket of meal as well. So obviously the cows are jumping up as well and they're coming out of the slatted units and they, they get a bit of the meal. And obviously, you can see the milk lorry. It's coming in to collect the milk. So. 8560 will have to move. 
And here is the John Deere 7430. He's after coming out of the new farm. You may see a lot of shades in this last episode. It's a lot more cleaner. Um, it's really taken, taken shape, I suppose. Um, you know, they're after spreading the grass seed with the Amazon spreader. And he's going, he's going to face her home. And so is the farmer or the contractor in the new Han TM140 and the discs or the Cambridge rollers. He's after rolling in the grass seed and making a nice, a real nice seed bed. So he has, the ground is real nice and level. So that's nice to see. And he's obviously uh, going to face her home too. And one of the small time contractors here, he's just sweeping the yard, making sure everything's all right. And then he's going to face her home too. So a few of the boys are all finishing up this contract. They're getting out. Got the job done and yeah, I think what's next for the farm is they're gonna put a new wall around the perimeter of the yard so it'll make a nice look to the place. Um but yeah no you can obviously see this Dutch barn, three bay Dutch barn that's being built. It's not a brand new one. Um the farmer which is yet to be revealed and the machinery he has is yet to be revealed as well. He hasn't moved in yet, but no he got the second hand shed off done deal and it was a good place. Now I know he's won the lotto but he's still a bit cautious of his money so yeah, still a nice shed to be fair, nothing wrong with it. And I think he's gonna put a few cows or cattle in this side. Um gonna put a feed barrier across and then feed his cattle from there. And then there's an A ton JCB on standby there. Um they might be putting up a few walls here for bales or whatnot or maybe a signage pit who knows but yeah that's what's happening and then Massey Ferguson 6290 is loading up the Kamatsu digger and he's he's loaded up and he's gonna head straight to the site where um, Ryan and Robert's brother are drawing the crushed concrete out of and he's uh, so they're gonna be kept busy at that all winter so nice to see everyone is busy during the winter time as usually it does be very quiet and find hard to find things to do. So that's about it for this episode. So it's been a very eventful episode today guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. There's been a lot going on. And of course, let us know in the comments below which blue power new Holland would you take? The TM190 or the T7210? Personally for me, I think I'd have to take the TM190 just I'm a real fan of the 20 year old tractors or modern classics I suppose you could call them and uh, yeah personally that would be my favourite so hopefully you enjoyed the video guys please like comment and subscribe and look forward to next week's uh, videos I have a stop motion coming up and also an announcement for the Christmas special so look forward to that guys and I'll see you again in the next episode bye for now